Have you ever wondered what is the reinforcing thing behind bad habits that makes you do things that are even potentially harmful to you? You're looking at it. It's dopamine. A very important neurotransmitter. Now, dopamine, despite being only, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight carbons, two oxygens, one nitrogen, and two, four, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven hydrogen atoms, is a very simple compound. But what it does to your behaviors is quite complex. So why don't we just start breaking dopamine down a little bit and have a discussion about some facts surrounding this molecule. Dopamine is your brain's feel-good fun molecule. What it does, it sends reinforcement signals when it's released to tell you that you very much like what just happened. For instance, let's say you eat a sugary food. You know it's gonna sabotage your weight program. Well, that's dopamine release. You're doing something you shouldn't do, but apparently the sugar is enough to inspire you to go ahead and do it because you want that sweet fix. Now another thing that dopamine does is drive our motivations and our goals. So if you're a goal seeker, you're a professional who's always trying to get that next rung up, dopamine is responsible for what motivates you. Our phones, our cell phones, these are dopamine machines. Every time you get a notification, a text, anything, when your phone dings, or provides you with a visual stimulus of notification, something like that, it releases dopamine. This is why the scrolling phenomenon on social media is so huge because the amount of stimulus that comes through is just releasing dopamine left and right, hitting those neurons, coming straight out of the vesicles. Now, dopamine's not just about satisfaction and reinforcement. It's also something that can change your life. If you don't have enough of it, you go into depression or you can have the worst case scenario, which is Parkinson's disease. It's involved in locomotion and all kinds of things. So just a very simple molecule with a whole lot of things it does. Have you ever been in love for the first time when you were a kid and you got that feeling of butterflies in your stomach? Well, that is dopamine talking to you and telling you that you like this person and reinforcing the reward of being around them. Now we all have the ability to hack our dopamine system naturally, actually, before the social media revolution and the dopamine release that we got from cell phones. We tended to get this dopamine release from laughing with friends and actual social interaction. You can listen to music to release dopamine, or you can consume ASMR to release dopamine. So as I go through this discussion, my hope is that we're taking dopamine apart, giving you a little bit of education about it, but also possibly releasing dopamine in your own mind. And that's dopamine in a nutshell. Next time we'll discuss serotonin. Thank you for watching.